Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this using Adobe XD. Before we begin, I wanted to mention this video sponsor, Skillshare.com, which is an online learning community for creators with over 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. So whether you want to fuel your curiosity, your creativity, or even your career, Skillshare is the perfect place to do just that. For instance, you're about to watch my Adobe XD video, but you could watch these full Adobe XD courses at Skillshare. Skillshare is also super affordable with an annual subscription of being less than 10 bucks a month. But if you're one of the first 500 people to click on the link here in the description in YouTube, then you get the first two months 100% free. So join up. Hey everyone, what's up? Gary Simon, of course, Setro.com. So today we're going to take a look at a new way to animate things in Adobe XD with their update that they just released here in May, just two days ago. And that is the polygon tool. You can do really cool, interesting morphing animations with it. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Make sure you update your Adobe XD if you haven't yet. Make sure to subscribe and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get started here in Adobe XD, the new document window. We're just gonna choose iPhone XXS to get started. Of course, you can use any artboard size you want. And all right, so make sure you're up to date. Uh, they just released this update just two days ago. And you'll see if it is up to date, you're gonna see the new polygon tool. It's this triangle here. All right, so uh, we'll get started with that. And I'll real quickly demonstrate you know, exactly this new uh, animation ability, and then we'll kind of try to create our own little loading sequence animation. So I'm just going to hit uh, Shift Alt and drag out just this very basic shape here. Um, we'll just leave it at three at a triangle. Um, we'll leave it at uh, no border angles either. Um, maybe we'll give it a fill of like this blue color right there, and. Then we'll duplicate it, Control D with the artboard, and then we can add any number of sizes as long as we keep the name the same right here. You don't wanna change it up or uh, anything like that. And we can also change this as well. So we can go from uh, a hex, uh, this triangle with no rounded edges to something with rounded edges that, you know, to this hexagon. Uh, we can also rotate it. All right, so we're going to something that's completely, very drastically different. And so if we go to prototype, perhaps, and we drag this over, we'll choose, let's say, um, we'll just do time with a 0.4 delay. Hit play. Ooh, that didn't work. Gary, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, yeah, we want to choose auto animate. There we go. Let's hit play now. Very cool. We can even see it uh, take place a little bit better if you want to slow it down just to see what it's doing exactly. Uh, we'll leave it like a second and make sure we select this one. All right, not as great looking there, not as smooth when you see it go uh, you know, so fast. And also going from those those pointy edges is a little bit more difficult, but when you speed it up, it definitely does look better. So let's create something from scratch here. I'm gonna delete this. Um, we'll work with this one, and I'm going to create, I, I think we'll just do, we'll do like four sides. That's just like a, uh, a square, obviously, and then we will turn this up all the way to where we're making a circle, all right? And we'll start off pretty big we're gonna get this centered up there we go we know it's centered vertically and horizontally and really bounce or smash that up to 250 or so all right I think that'll be good we're also going to duplicate this so control D scale it in we're gonna make it um, white but we're gonna scale it in all the way to the very smallest unit which is 0 0.5 you're not gonna see it though either and the reason I'm doing that is because we're gonna make it kind of come out in the next uh, artboard right here. So the next thing that will change is I think we'll go from four to six, a hexagon, and we'll bring this down. We're going to scale it down to, and when you start changing up the sides, it may throw off the alignment. So you want to position it up again as best you can. Uh, this isn't, there we go. Uh, and let's take this down so we can actually see the sides here. 
something like that, pretty rounded on um, the edges. Make sure you're still in the center. And I think we'll also rotate it. So adding um, rotation really makes it look interesting as well. And then we'll make this one, if we get our layers out, we'll find it. We're gonna increase the size of that. Make sure this is locked. All right. Yeah, somewhere right around here. Bring this down. And I think maybe we'll we'll leave it at four sides and make sure it's right there in the middle again. And we'll make it go maybe right around here or so. I think that'll be good. All right, so now let's see what this transition animation looks like. So we'll take uh, this, make sure we're at time. We'll get a 0.4 second just so uh, it's not happening right when the window loads up. And we'll put we'll leave this at, I think, 0.4. Um, we could also change the easing from ease in and out perhaps, or maybe snap. Yeah, we'll try that. Best thing to do is just uh, experiment ultimately. Let's try it again. That looks cool. All right, so let's create another sequence with this. So we'll <clears throat> duplicate that. And I think this one, maybe we'll spin it and you can hold shift by the way to make sure uh, It'll, it'll get you nice and evened up where you want to be. This one, we'll make it a little bit larger. We'll add some sides. Maybe I, uh, maybe we'll do seven. All right, and make sure once again, we find that center point. Now, sometimes it's looking like it's not exactly even, so you can just eyeball if that's the case. Uh, Scale it down just a tad bit, maybe right there. All right, so let's see what this one looks like. Now this one, we don't wanna have snap. I think I'll use ease in and out. No delay as well, so 0.0s for, for zero seconds. And let's try this. Oh, let's go back to the home here and hit play. Ah, very cool. Snaps, ease in and out. Let's do another one. All right, so this one, let's make this get really large. Maybe we'll go to four sides and we will rotate it so it's like that. And then take down that, let's see here. Maybe we can rotate it so that we're dealing like this there. Well, that's frustrating. It's kind of always going to be like that anyway. Um, so what we could do is this. It's, yeah, this will work. Now shift and alt scale all the way up so that it's completely blue. All right. So then we can take this element. We're going to make it a circle and scale it down all the way here to like a single dot in the center. So now let's check and see what happens here. So let's drag this over. No delay. That's good. Uh, maybe this one, because a lot's happening, will slow the animation down, maybe like to 0.8. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I, I prepared this project beforehand, but it didn't exactly um, look like that. So I, I think that's okay. Looking at it again. Yeah, I'm, th I, I'm okay with that. Uh, so we'll duplicate. No, we're not going to duplicate that yet. We're going to come back here to this dot and I want to have three of them start to animate in the next artboard, which means we need to create uh, the duplicates of them right here in this artboard first. So we'll duplicate, duplicate. Now we have polygon two, three, and four. Okay, so now we'll duplicate that and I'm going to move this one over here and then move the other one, holding shift, make sure you have an equal distance right there. All right, so we'll take a look at that, see what that looks like. Again, we'll make this, uh, these are gonna be faster, like 0.2. And we'll hit play. Nice. All right, hopefully it's showing up smooth. <clears throat> It's really smooth on my uh, monitor the way I'm looking at it, but the, again, the recording frame rate may not make it look not quite as smooth. And then I think we'll just do some sort of like a uh, fade in, um, out, in and out animation with these. Uh, and then we'll loop it indefinitely. I'll show you how to do that as well. So um, what we'll do is we'll make this first one, 
I think we'll drop the opacity way down. This one will go to like around 50%. We'll do another artboard, we'll duplicate it. This one, we'll make it come all the way, um, no, we'll make it go 50%. This one is gonna be all the way out, and this one right here will be 50%. Next up, this one will be 100%. This one will be 50%. This one will be zero. All right, that's all we need. So now, I uh, let's come back here. These are all gonna be the same. Ease in and out, 0.2 seconds, no delay. And then the final one right here, we'll make it go all the way back to this one. So let's give it a shot. Hit play. And look at that. It'll just keep on looping indefinitely because that's how we set it up. We'll look at one more time. Very, very, very cool. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that and learned something new within Adobe XD. Again, make sure to subscribe, click the bell notification icon, and I'll see you with more tutorials. Goodbye.